What's going on, X Factor family? I'm about to teach you guys how to cook some chicken, how to cook some rice, how to cook some veggies. It's all about meal prep. If you want gains, you got a meal prep. What I need you guys to do is stick with me, focus, get you a pad, write some stuff down, get your phone, and let's get to it. Meal Prep 101. Grab you a skillet, preferably a larger skillet so you can fit your meats in there. We're gonna crank it up. Let's go ahead and get this thing hot. I put mine to about five. Actually, let's put it on six and then we're gonna turn it down when it gets nice and hot. That's all you do, guys, just turn it. Turn the knob off and turn it. Come on, easy. Grab us a pot, put some water in it. As you see, I have water in it. This is gonna be for our rice. Same thing, but with the rice, you want it to boil. You want the water to boil, so we turn it to high. So we got high, low, and now we're just gonna sit back and relax, because we need these things to heat up. While we wait, let's go ahead and grab some rice. Grab some rice, guys. I choose the Uncle Ben's rice, preferably. Grab the rice, grab your seasonings. I'm gonna grab me some garlic powder, Himalayan pink salt ground pepper, and I'm gonna grab me some onion powder. All the delicious seasonings. Then we're gonna go in the fridge and see what we got in here. Everything thawed out. Let's go ahead and grab us some medallions. These are the pork tenderloin medallions. Looking all nice and good. Slide those right there. Grab us some chicken. Now lucky for me, my chicken is already seasoned. But I'm pretty sure the other side is not, so we're gonna be seasoning the other side, but this is lemon pepper. And what else do we have? Oh, I didn't tell you guys we had ground turkey. But we do. So we got some ground turkey. We're gonna be prepping this ground turkey, prepping this chicken, pre prepping these pork tenderloins. We're gonna hook it up. Next step, grab you some water, because you might get thirsty and you definitely wanna hydrate. I forgot to tell you guys to go ahead and grab your olive oil spray. This is the spray I use. Instead of using the olive oil liquid, I choose spray. While it's heating up, we wanna go ahead and spray it down. Give it a nice spray. You don't want your meat, you don't want your meat to stick to the pan, which is why you spray it down. The, the water is ready to go. It is boiling. As you see, it's bubbling. That's how you know it's boiling. For you amateurs out there, just to let you guys know, my Uncle Ben's right here is bagged. So I have four bags in here. So I can simply just pull out a bag and throw it right there in. Go ahead and press it down, grab your fork or something, press it down. And now you can let that sit for 10 minutes. So go ahead and start the timer for 10 minutes. Our pan is ready to go. Nice and hot, not that hot. Let's give it some more time. Let's go ahead and start with our chicken. Grab your pack of chicken. And what you wanna do is simply grab your fork or a knife and go ahead and cut it open. Once you cut it open, as you see your chicken is ready, we can throw it on the stove. Always, always, always wash your hands after dealing with chicken. After dealing with any raw food, always wash your hands. The 10 minutes is complete, so we can now shut it off. I just see the light went off. We had to go ahead and cut this off because the eye is not heating up down here. It is pretty broke, so I went ahead and cut it off. And uh, now that the rice is done, we are going to shift the chicken the whole skillet, we're gonna shift it over here, the whole pan skillet, we're gonna shift it to this eye. So let's remove this rice and let's go ahead and package it up.
twice, complete. Whoo, you hear that? That's the sound of success. That's the sound of gains. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We're just gonna sit back and let it cook. Then we're gonna do a nice little flip. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and flip it now. So as you see, I told you the seasons wouldn't be on the other side. I already knew that. I'm gonna go ahead and season it up. So pretty much just flip them off. It's not hard, guys. Simple. I think a lot of people will think cooking and prepping is hard, but it's not. Now we can turn this down just a bit. Go ahead and put it at five. Put the top back on. Sit back. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what we like to see. But you can smell it cooking. Give a nice little, give a nice little burn to it. That's how you know it's cooked through. You don't want to black them. You don't want to make them black. But you do want to make sure they're cooked. Now we're gonna make the other side look the same. We'll be good to go. Okay, they're ready to go. So let's go ahead and cut it off. Now, as you notice, I have some chicken right here, which I cooked yesterday, but I didn't show you guys. So I made sure I showed you my batch today. I'm simply just gonna pull it off, as you see, nice and cooked. And throw it right there in the Tupperware with the rest of the chicken. Now we have tons of chicken. We will not have to cook for about a week. Tons of protein. Then we have our pan, which is our go-to pan, which we're gonna need. So let's put this pot back on the stove. Let's go ahead and wash out our pan. We're gonna wash this out, and then we're gonna throw our ground turkey on there. Now we're back to the stove. It should be still already hot from previously, so we don't have to heat it up for too long. So we simply want to heat it up and then we're going to spray it down again. Cut open your ground turkey the same way you cut open your chicken with the knife. Let's roll through it, open it up. Now you have your ground turkey like that. And then you can just scoop it in. Seasonings. Same seasonings as we did with the chicken. No need to go crazy and switch it all up. But that's just my preference. And of course, the Himalayan pink salt. Grab your spatula and just chop it up. Chop it up, make sure it all gets cooked. You don't want to leave it in that block. And then same as the chicken, you can just sit back and let it cook. Periodically, you want to come back to the stove and you want to flip your ground.
ground turkey as best that you can. As you see, one side is cooking, but the other side isn't. So you can just flip it every 10 minutes, every, I would say every five to six minutes, depending on what level you have the heat and make sure everything is getting cooked. And as you see, you season one side up, which means you need to go ahead and give it, give the other side some seasoning. Same way you do the chicken. Flip one side, season it up. This time you don't have to go so heavy on the seasons because you have it on the other side. You're just throwing it on here for taste. The brown turkey is ready to go guys. Check it out. It smells real good too. So go ahead and cut it off. Lights off. And we're gonna move the ground turkey and place it in the Tupperware that already has some ground turkey from yesterday. Now we have loads of ground turkey. Look at that. Loads of ground turkey ready to go for the week. So we have our ground turkey. We have our chicken breast. Boneless skinless chicken breast. And we also have our rice. Let's not forget. Rice. Almost finished guys. Now it's time to prep our vegetables. Grab you a bag of vegetables, some good old broccoli florets. Look at that. We're just gonna throw it in the microwave for seven whole minutes. We're actually only gonna do six. Already cooked, guys. This is already cooked. Saves you the hassle when you can just put your vegetables in the microwave. Face down, of course. four cups of broccoli delicious broccoli it actually the steam fresh tastes very very good take my word for it but hey that was a simple meal prep right there you got your broccoli get your veggies in four servings of that or you can do two you can do whatever serving you want but that's four cups you have two cups of rice you have a ton of chicken and you have a ton of ground turkey so easy 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 prep guys easy prep I hope you guys enjoyed that quick meal prep it was very very simple guys I hope you aren't over complicating your meal prep a lot of people think it takes so long but it really doesn't it's real simple just throw the food on the stove walk away come back walk away come back walk away and as you see everything allowed me to put it on the stove and walk away I even put the vegetables in the microwave and walked away for seven minutes. So it's real simple, guys. Get your meal prep in. If you want to make gains, you got a meal prep. Just do it. Don't make excuses. Yeah, I hope this video was informational, instructional. I hope you learned a lot. I hope I made your life a little better. Please, meal prep. But anyways. Thank you guys for watching the video. Comment below, let me know if you want to see more tutorials on how to prep, how to cook, what seasons to use, what food to eat. Just let me know, guys. I'm here to help you. Help me help you and comment below. Come on, guys, it's real simple. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Help the channel grow. Subscribe to the channel. Share it, tell your friends. I thank you guys for watching.